everybody, welcome back. All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna be working on the Z axis, okay? And that means we're gonna be using the shortest of all of them, the six inch digital readout and scale and moving sensor and all that. And I've already figured out how we're gonna get it mounted up. And, and I gotta tell you, it is gonna be ridiculously simple and easy to do. You're gonna be shocked how easy this is gonna be, okay? So let's look at what we got on the bench here. All right, so y'all know the drill here, man. You see what we got? We got the, you know, the digital readout, you know, the, the digital part. And we've got our scale with our moving sensor. And of course, you know, we've got the bolts and the batteries and the brackets. And I've got a bunch of leftovers here from the other two installs that I didn't need. And we're not gonna need much of this for this one. In fact, we're gonna need practically nothing out of these packs other than the batteries to put into the, to the readout head, okay? So what we'll do guys is we're gonna take this part here and we're gonna mount it on the back of the mill head. And this part down here is gonna be mounted to the quill and this is gonna be stuck to the side of the mill head, all right? And this will just slide up and down through it. Now, like in the previous video on the Y axis, we will have to cut this scale off and shorten it. All right, so you guys saw in the last video that, that when we cut the scale and shorten it on the Y axis, there was no you know ill effects, no bad reactions, everything worked fine. And, you know, cutting this thing off is not going to be any issue on this one. So let's get around here on the back of the machine and take a look at what the plan is. All right, so here's what we've got. And if you've looked at anything online about where, you know, different uh, individuals have done this, most of them will build a big, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, a plate or a collar that goes around this quill and where it comes out. And most of them do that because they plan on putting a quill stop on. I have no intentions of doing that anytime soon. So all I need to do is get this thing fastened to the machine and to the quill, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it as simple as I can. So the plan right now is to, you know, come right here and just using a big clamp like you would use, like, you know, for a radiator hose or whatever, a big hose clamp right there and then I'm gonna clamp one of these to it. I'm gonna cut this off short so that it'll fit up in there. And then this sensor right here, the moving sensor, is literally gonna be just stuck right on the side of the machine there, okay? I mean, it's, I'm not gonna have to drill any holes. I'm not gonna have to tap anything or make any custom brackets. I'm gonna use the brackets right here and stick it right on there just like that and I believe it's going to work perfect. All right, so let's go back over to the workbench. All right, so let's take a look at what we're going to be doing. This is exactly the way it's going to be oriented on the machine, okay, just like this. All right, so this bracket is going to be mounted to the quill. It's going to be mounted by using just a couple old regular hose clamps and I'm going to trim off the excess so that it's not sticking out. I'm gonna to need to modify this bracket just a little so that it has a curve down here that matches the radius of the quill, okay? Just so that it fits nice. Okay, so here's what we've done to the brackets. And you can see here that this is the way it looks originally. And I took this bracket and I just put it in the bandsaw over there and I just cut down on both sides a little bit and then I worked it into the shape, the right radius of the quill. And the whole purpose of that is just, you know, when the hose clamp goes on, that it'll just squeeze it nice and tight, okay? That's it. All right, so we're gonna put this back on here in just a minute, just like this. And we'll go over here and I'll set it up and get a good measurement to cut the scale. All right, so we've got this thing cut, you know, to the right length. And it's gonna go on there just like, just like this, okay? This is where it's gonna sit. And this bracket right here is gonna be held on with these hose clamps right here. All right, guys, so you see how the hose clamp is gonna work? It's gonna hold that, that you know, customized end bracket right onto the side of the quill and this sensor sits right flush on the side of the machine. It's perfect, okay? So how I'm gonna hold that sensor in place is I'm just gonna clean the machine off with some lacquer thinner, and then I'm gonna put a bead of clear silicone on the back of that sensor, 
and I'm just gonna stick it right on there and put the clamp on it and tighten it up and let it sit there a few hours and that is gonna be perfect. All right, I'm just gonna take and put on a nice little bead of clear silicone here, okay? Just like this. That's enough right there. That's gonna do the job. Smooth this out here just a little bit. That's gonna be all we need right there. I promise you, that's gonna work great. The machine cleaned up right here where we're gonna mount that sensor. So I'm just gonna take this thing and stick it right on there. right there just like that okay now I'm gonna take my clamp and put it on here and I'm gonna tighten it up and we'll let it sit for several hours and set up right there man that's that's what we wanted right there that looks straight up and down and we'll tighten up the old clamp And let that silicone do its job. All right, let's let that sit there now and we'll check back in just a little bit. All right guys, well it's been a few hours and we've got the, uh, given the silicone time to really set up and it's sticking good. So watch this here, we're gonna run it up and down, all the way down, all the way back up, all the way down, all the way back up, no problem. I think this was just so simple to just use a, a big hose clamp, modify the bracket just a little bit so that it had a little radius to it, and then glue that sensor onto the side of there with some clear silicone. You know, if I want to get it back off, all I got to do is just go back in behind there with a putty knife or something, and it comes right off. I say, so, hey, now it's time to run the wires around and get them set up. And that's going to be pretty straightforward. It's just going to, the wire is just going to run over here to this uh, standoff and then it's gonna come around to the other side, run through the standoff there, and we'll get that knocked out right now. All right guys, so we run our cable right over here to this clamp, and then I went around to the standoff on the other side, and we've got it all hooked up and ready to try out. So let's go around there and check her out and see how it works. Fellas, as you can see there, we've got the, the third digital readout mounted up up there, and I've got all my cables run around here to it. Everything's plugged in, got it turned on, I'm just going to run this thing down. All the way down to the bottom. All right, 4.585. That's how much stroke the Smithy has on the quill. All right, man, look at that. Spot on. So I got to tell you, that was just super simple putting that Z on there. If I had been wanting to do a quill stop and all that, then of course it would have been involved a good bit more work, but I'm not interested in that at the moment. Maybe later on, six months, a year, I may find a need for it and incorporate that into the smithy, but I rarely drill that many holes in succession where I would need a quill stop or, you know, counter bore that many holes or whatever. So I feel like I'm pretty safe not worrying about it. All right, guys, so we're all done with our digital readouts on the smithy. The z-axis went on easy, works great. You know, this is the final video, unless I do a follow-up video maybe in a few months, but I can tell you right now, just right off the bat, that adding the digital readouts to the smithy has taken it from a fairly accurate machine to a very accurate machine, okay? So guys, I can tell you that putting the digital readouts on the smithy has been fun, it's been pretty easy, it's not difficult to do, and it's really worth you know the little bit of money that it costs to make your machine so much more accurate and I would highly recommend that to anyone who has one of these machines to go ahead and just buy these digital readouts and put them on I would not recommend buying the smithy ones I wouldn't recommend that they look very expensive and even their mounting kit that they sell is just some plastic pieces and they want a good bit of money for that too I just I wouldn't do it you see how easy it is. You can watch these videos, and I just bought the, you know, the little three-piece kit off of eBay, and it wasn't that much money. In fact, it was about as much as what Smithy wants for the little plastic brackets and stuff to put on a DRO. So I wouldn't do that if I were you. Just, you know, buy the little kits off of eBay. You can cut them to the length you need, 
and it's very simple to mount up, nothing to it. Well, anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the series, getting these uh, digital readouts mounted on the Smithy, and I hope you come back for the next video.